The wooden shield is expected to protect it from man-made anti-tank weapons. RPG and other anti-tank weapons use high-explosive anti-tank technology, heat, also known as shaped charges. This technology was first shown by Charles Monroe, a professor at the American Naval Academy in 1888. The conical cavity is placed on a metal plate, or a protective tank, and an explosive loaded behind it. The cavity channeled the force of the explosion through the cone to the end. This allows the warhead to penetrate the armor up to seven times the charge diameter. This is more than enough to penetrate armor of the B-150 armored car, which is only designed to stop bullets with a diameter of 7. 62 mm or smaller, as written in Popular Mechanics. Thursday, June 8, 2017. To be effective, wooden armor must do one of two things that is mounted away from the hull of the vehicle, or made very thick. In the first case, wooden armor enclosure will do the trick. This will cause RPG warheads to blow wood and burn in armor, but disappear before actually reaching the vehicle surface. So this is actually the function of an iron enclosure installed in a common armored vehicle we see. Actually no matter the cage is made of anything important material is hard enough to trigger contact fuse. If the cage is not available, wood with a thick layer will help. At least a wooden armor of one foot thick or about 30 centimeters can do the trick to expel a liquid jet that pierces the armor. Of course, wooden armor is totally useless against the anti-tank round of kinetic energy. Modern armor explosive ammunition, which is basically a giant tungsten or uranium arrow fired at supersonic speed. This power will penetrate the wood like a hot knife cutting butter.